Now we'll see that what kind of uh, image is formed by the plane mirror when you have a finite object. So this is my plane mirror, again a big line with small oblique lines. Let's say this is my finite object, that means of limited length. So now uh, as you can see that this complete source is emitting light. But whenever we are making a ray diagram, we will consider two points, the, uh, the up point and the down one. So we will just uh, take the rays from this point. So let's say this is one ray falling perpendicular. This is one ray falling at certain angle and it gets reflected in the same way we made for that. Right. Let's make another rays also from the lower point. Let us just extend it a little so that it should not mess up with the another ray. So let us say that this is the perpendicular ray from this point and this ray is striking at this angle. Again this is the angle I and this is the angle R. Now what to do is me, uh, me, uh, 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 this thing uh, meet two black one rays at one point and let to make these red one appear to meet at one point. So just extend them, this, we know that this get reflected in the same manner, we have already discussed. So just extend it like this, so if we have one point and for the red one also do in the same manner like this, like this, right. Just join it, join these two points and this is your image for the finite object. I think you got it because it is not uh, uh, easy to draw uh, the light rays coming from all these things. So what we did, we did from the upper point and from the lower point. So this, uh, this uh, we got a complete object, our finite object and the characteristics for this one is the same we did here that is the virtual erect same size distance of object from mirror is same for uh, same as mirror from the image and it is laterally inverted. Now you know that where we uh, use this kind of plane mirrors, where we make use of this plane mirrors. One use you already know as I told you that you use for dressing purpose at home because this is our looking mirror what, you, what we use in at home. So it is used for dressing up, moreover it is used in barber shops also as a rear view mirror like uh, when you want to look yourself, your hairstyle from the back side what kind of mirror you use, there also you, you make use of this plane mirror only. It is used in a periscope, it is used in a kaleidoscope, it is used in a solar cooker also. In all the three it is being used as a reflector. In all the three it is being used as a reflector and what is kaleidoscope, solar cookers and periscope you must be knowing but if in case you do not know that uh, just refer to the other slides you will be able to know that. So it is just used uh, uh, for this movement we are just uh, making listing the uses. So it is used in kaleidoscope, periscope and solar cooker as a reflector and moreover you know that whenever we want to get a multiple images we can just uh, get them by placing the plane mirrors at different angles so we can get the multiple images. So that means plane mirror is serving as an important use because it is used in many uh, uh, things and moreover you know that it is being used there also whenever you are in optician room and you are just making your uh, this thing uh, the number of your eyes checked or you can, uh, you are just making uh, your uh, number checking your number for the spectacles and there what you use you use the mirror to read the alphabets right so that means it is just serving many purposes in many at many places it is being used so this is all about plane mirror that how we draw image and how we denote it and what are the characteristics of the plane mirror right so the, uh, by doing this we just finish off with this chapter so just practice making the ray diagrams because these are very important and before you draw the ray diagrams you should be uh, thorough with the basic terminology that we did in the first slide that is the incident ray reflected ray normal ray because if you are not aware of those things you won't be able to do these kind of ray diagrams. So the first tool is that to just get uh, familiar with that and then try to practice them. They are not so tough and do not forget as I told you that do not forget to list the characteristics along. These are very important.